Think of it as a 21st century ogre in his lair. Osama bin Laden hiding from the greatest manhunt in history, but still a creature of the information age reviewing videotapes of the touched-up image he presented to the world. While he rehearsed his messages with his beard trimmed and dyed, he apparently had no idea U.S. intelligence was closing in on him. These videos were recovered from his compound by the Navy SEALs who killed him a week ago today. An operation President Obama and his advisors monitored from the White House Situation Room. In an interview to be aired tonight on 60 Minutes, the President told Steve Croft what was going through his mind. My number one concern was, if I send them in, can I get them out? Uh, and a lot of the discussion we had during the course of planning was, how do we make sure there's backup? How do we make sure that there's redundancy built into the plan uh, so that uh, we have the best chance of getting our guys out? For months, the CIA had been watching this one-acre compound in Pakistan, both from overhead satellites and a safe house nearby. Surrounded by high walls and barbed wire, it looked like bin Laden's hideout. But intelligence analysts couldn't be sure. One thing was sure, however, the Pakistanis couldn't be trusted. We made the decision that uh, we would not inform them that, that we would conduct this operation unilaterally on the part of the United States. To CIA Director Leon Panetta, it seemed entirely possible the Pakistanis had known bin Laden was there all along. This was a location that was very close to a military academy. It was close to a other, other sensitive military sites. It had been there since uh, almost five years ago. Uh, it was very unusual as a compound. A team of 25 Navy SEALs flew in Black Hawk helicopters specially modified to reduce their noise. As they were about to fast rope onto the compound, one of the Black Hawks lost lift and had to make an emergency landing. The president and his advisors, John Brennan among them, could only wait in silence. It was probably one of the most anxiety-filled periods of time, I think, in the, the lives of the, the people who were assembled here yesterday. The minutes passed like days. The SEALs found bin Laden in his bedroom and shot him twice, once in the chest and once to the head. At the White House, the tension broke. The reason I'm calling is to tell you we uh, Killed. Yes, I'm to get a we, we killed him. USA! 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 Shortly before midnight, with a cheering crowd gathering outside the White House, the president went on national television. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. The SEALs had taken pictures of bin Laden with part of his skull blown away. But the president told 60 Minutes it was too gruesome to release. It is important for us to make sure that gr very graphic photos of somebody who was shot in the head uh, are not floating around uh, as uh, an incitement to additional violence. But the administration did release videos from a trove of laptops, hard drives, CDs, thumb drives, and handwritten notes which the SEALs hauled away from bin Laden's compound, the most intelligence ever captured from a senior terrorist. A task force is working round the clock to analyze and exploit the intelligence. It may well be that bin Laden's last act was to give up the roadmap that could lead to the final dismantling of his organization. To add insult to fatal injury, the U.S. government deleted the audio from the tapes so that he could not have one last chance to spread his message. Bin Laden is gone, buried at sea. Al-Qaeda is reeling without the only leader it has ever known. These are the Bin Laden boxes down here. But according to Lawrence Wright, who won the Pulitzer Prize for his study of Bin Laden and Al-Qaeda, they can never be forgotten. They created an event that will be remembered throughout history. And unfortunately, they created a precedent and a kind of legacy for other groups that will follow the Al-Qaeda template. Bin Laden's dead. Al-Qaeda will die eventually, but other groups will look to that model and, and hope to emulate it.